Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamer. So you may have sort of the gaming dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, June's Path. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know I'm now I'm now an affiliate with Green Man Gaming. What that means is there's gonna be a link in the description of each video. All you gotta do is click on that link, you'll to be taken to the webpage. You'll have lots of uh, great and awesome deals on the latest and greatest games, and I get commissioned for whatever y'all buy. So if y'all looking to get some games for cheap, head to Green Man Gaming and don't forget to click on my link. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Ow! What? June, are you all right? Settle down. It's just a magazine. You're not going to break his nose with that. But I could have hit him in the eye. What if he... June gives him a few taps on the shoulder, rubbing his own nose with a pained expression. Shuichi san I'm fine. Just please don't hit me in the face anymore. Y yes. June grabs hold of the magazine in Shuichi's hand and takes it away from him. He does it so gently and smoothly that Shuichi doesn't even register it at first. What? Hey! I want to read the article on Yuichi san He's on the cover, so I imagine he must have a must have a more detailed article. And remember, you you didn't you did just hit him in the face with the damn thing. At least let him use it as he wants to. That's fair. Wait, but that's my. Shh. Say, I calmly shuts him down before he has a chance to really say anything. Saitama's very own rising star, Yuichi Michimaya, is set to have his professional debut at the end of this year, with many people anxious to see how he performs in his last year in the junior rankings, as that could set the tone for the beginning of his career. Despite a few setbacks in later years and having some performance issues when it counted most, Michimaya is still cited by many sports critics to be one of Japan's most promising athletes across all categories. He has the body of a trained athlete, keen senses and reflexes, the mind of a chess master, and he is a force to be reckoned with on the courts. Will this be the year when he finally defeats Takagi Tanabe and claims the title of Japan's number one junior? We can only speculate at this point, but many of us hope to see it. Switchy looks up from the magazine for a second, giving me a pointed stare. Mind of a chess master? Really? Hey, I'm not the one who wrote this. Still, that's really high praise coming from them. I'm not surprised. The chief editor of this magazine has always had a boner for Yuichi. What? what? Mizuguchi-san! What? It's true. Even when he loses, he gets glowing reviews every time. He's had something written about him in this magazine almost every month for the past three years. Ugh, that level of fanaticism sounds like something my dad would do. Your dad's a fan of Yuichi? Yeah, he is. It's weird, to say the least. Yeah, dad can be pretty intense when he's excited. It's very annoying. No, you're the last person who should be saying this. Huh? Why? Kaken sighs, rubbing the bridge of his nose in exasperation. Nope, nothing, never mind. June cocks his head to the side in confusion, a gesture that is easily turned into the most adorable thing I've seen all day. Well, now that that's all well and done, can I have the magazine, please? I want to see my article. Oh, there isn't one. The air immediately goes frigid. What do you mean, there isn't one? Uh, Saiyachan, calm down. What are you talking about? I am calm. The constant cracking of her knuckles says otherwise. Ah, oh, no, they didn't overlook you. It's just that this month's edition is focused on male players. Next month is apparently for the girls. Ah. Her body relaxes and we instinctively relax with her. I was already preparing myself for Saya's temp for a Saya temper tantrum. Why didn't you say so earlier? You almost gave me the wrong idea here, Kaken. <laughs> she playfully stops and slaps him multiple times on the back. Ow, 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 mizuguchi san It hurts. Oh, don't be such a baby. It was just some light taps. As if a cute little girl could hurt you. Where's the cute little girl? I don't see her. Oh, Irata, do you want me to punch you? What, well, Saitan, you're as scary as a Yakuza leader right now. Jeez, you're so mean. I'm just honest. Then don't be! Hey, what's at the gate? My attention immediately snapped to the side, where I see Jen staring intently at the window. Oh, what's wrong, Jen? Is that a guy riding a horse? Huh? Everyone's attention immediately snaps to the front gate as we see what looks like a white horse galloping towards the entrance. Ah! You've got to be kidding me. Yep, without a doubt, that's someone riding on horseback towards the entrance. Is that Ayako-san? What? Ayako? The horseman comes to a stop in front of the building. Class rep walks up to him and seems to be greeting him. So, that's the new student, huh? Wait, there's actually is a new student? Yeah, they informed all the third-year classrooms since he'd be transferring here from Europe. They wanted to make sure everyone would rece receive him well. He's transferring to this classroom, actually. Wait, what? Where? <clears throat> Where? Where is he transferring from? France, if I'm not mistaken. What? A French boy? He must be so dreamy. Oh, I bet he's going to be so cute, too. Shit, the last thing I need is more competition. I won't be able to get any girl. Let's face it, you wouldn't have a chance even if you were the last guy in here. That's too mean. There, there, bro. We'll get through this together. Shouldn't you be telling me? Shouldn't you be telling me that that that's not true?
Oh, I'm supposed to lie? You suck! Everyone, meet Victor. Before we know it, class rep has already shown up in our class. Another fox following in tow. He stood, a bit, he stood uh, quite a bit taller than class rep, his face covered by beige fur that descended down towards his neck and disappeared inside of his uniform. He wore a, weak, he wore a meek smile as if he half hid beneath, behind class rep, despite easily standing over her. Um, uh, he hello? His voice came out as near squeal. It almost looked like his fur was tinted red. Not to mention his Japanese. His Japanese sounded so completely broken right now. Ah, he's so cute! Oh, he's adorable! The girls that were still in the classroom immediately crowded, crowded, crowded over him, touching and pulling on him as he looked at them in a panic. I guess my French is getting a little bit better, since I've done this three times now. Kaken twitches as he hears the boy talk. Kia, his French sounds so cute! His words seem to drive the girls even more wild. Class Rep seems to be standing to the side, giggling in delight at this little show. All right, that's enough. Keegan pushes his way through the mob, reaching up next to the fox and separating all the girls from him. Everyone stop already. This is ridiculous. What? Who are you? Aren't you just a second year? Shh, he's the son of the Rushihara Corporation. Ah! They start to whisper to themselves. It quickly creates a buzz around the group of girls, and they seem to quickly disperse. Kaken breathes out in relief as he turns to the fox. Je m'appelle Kisuke Burushihara. C'est un plaisir de vous rencontrer. The fox's eyes widen in surprise as he hears Kisuke speak in what I assume is French. Vous parlez François? Kisuke smiles, offering a handshake. Oui, monsieur. The fox smiles widely, grabbing hold of Kaken's hand and shaking it with gusto. Um, Kaken, since when do you speak French? Hmm? Oh, I can understand a few languages. Japanese, English, French, Portuguese, Indonesian, Italian. I'm pretty basic with most of them, though. English and French are the only ones I can actually speak. Huh, that's... Huh. Wow. Yeah, at least someone can talk to him, then. Uh, that won't be necessary. Victor can actually speak Japanese. Wait, he can? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, yes, I can speak Japanese. Uh, somewhat. Well, your pronunciation is pretty good. I can't say it's impeccable, but it's very close. Thank you. Let me introduce myself properly. My name is Victor Chevalier. Chevalier. Chevalier? It's a pleasure to meet you. V v Vic no, uh, no, it's too hard to say it. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. That's just how, just how Kobayashi is. Just answer me this, though. If you could speak Japanese, then why didn't, well, then why didn't you when they were whole hounding you? The girls don't understand a word of what you just said. What did he say, anyway? Something going along is like, back off already, would you? No, that's not quite right. It was more, uh, please, just let me breathe, to be honest. Yeah, but you sound like a wimp with that line. Gah! The guy hasn't been here for five minutes, and KSK is already making teasing jokes at his expense. Um, Kaken, at least let him get acclimated with, with us before you start cracking jokes about him. Oh, sorry. He steps away, looking awkwardly at Victor. The fox, on the other hand, looks at us in curiosity. Um, so you're in my new classmates, right? Uh, yeah. My name is Miyuichi Michimaya. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Jude Kobayashi. Nice to meet you, Vi- Vi- Vic- Vicken? Vi- Vic- Vicken, but- Oh, hey. I like the sound of that. Vicken. It's catchy. I'll go with that, too. Nice to meet you, Vicken. I'm KSK from Class 2A. Um- I'm Shuichi Arata from Class 3A. I'm not your classmate, but I do come here over, over here a lot, so you'll probably see, more, see me more often. He's also the president of the student council, so don't hesitate to go to him if you, need, if you have some sort of problem. Let me go ahead and drink my water first, y'all. We have chicken nuggies on the way. And they're shaped like stars. Oh, that's cool. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Me next, me next. I'm Saya Mizuguchi from Class 3A. A bon voyage. A bon voyage? Yeah, that's nice to meet you in French, right? I, uh, I... Cake and bursts out in laughter. <laughs> What? 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 Did I, what, did I say something wrong? Um, bon voyage is French for have a safe trip. What? <laughs> I can't laugh too hard. It'll make me cough. He hasn't even had time to arrive properly yet, and you're already shoving him out the door and telling him to leave. But that's not what I meant. I meant stop laughing, Kaken. Kaken? I said stop laughing, damn it. In a single second, she grabs hold of him in a neck choke. Ow, 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 ow. All right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, please let me go. I can't breathe. Are these two always like this? Oh, yeah. You've seen nothing yet. 
That's scary, to be honest. You're gonna have to get used to it sooner or later if you're gonna be in this class. Oh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind, too. Uh, by the way, Vicken, what's up with the horse? In a second, everyone's attention immediately snaps to the fox as June finally asked the question we were all thinking but not saying. Oh, we're going there after all, huh? Okay, what is the deal with the horse? Vic winces, looking at from looking at looking from us for a second, his cheeks becoming red again. That um, I uh, kind of lost a bet. A bet? Well, not really a bet. Bet, more like um, how should I put the? My elder brother made an agreement with me in exchange for his help. You see, my parents were initially opposed to me going on an exchange program, and since their divorce, I don't get much time with my father. My brother, he told me that if he managed to convince my father to let me on this trip, I had have to show I have to show up for my first day of class on horseback. That's pretty wild of him. Honestly, he does this kind of stuff all the time. Uh, tormenting me seems to be his main hobby. That doesn't sound like a healthy hobby. Hey, messing around with your younger siblings can be fun at times. Yuichi-san too, huh? Guess we should call Child Protective Services before he messes Akiyoshi-kun up too badly. I was joking! Well, I guess it could have been worse. You could have imposed a condition like you must go to school naked on your first day of class. I'd refuse to go on this trip then and there. Huh, I always thought French people didn't really care about modesty. I feel like I should punch you for that. I was joking! Feel free to punch him, Vic, and he totally deserves it. Trust me when I say this. He's like this all the time. I said I was joking! Vic, Vic sighs, shaking his head. So, um, where do I even sit? Uh, do we even have an open seat in our classroom? There are a few in the back. But you'll have to be assigned one by the homeroom teacher, since he's absent today. Just take any seat you'd like and he'll deal with it tomorrow. Okay, I guess I'll take this one. It's all the same, really. Victor pulls the chair and throws his bag on top of it. So, um, I assume that it's lunchtime, given how much food I've seen thrown on top of the tables. Any chance there's a cafeteria here where I can get some food for myself? Mm, sorry, y'all. There is, but if you have any love for life, don't eat there. It's not that bad. It's only a few dishes that suck. The rest is perfectly edible. You're just being nitpicky because you're used to fancy stuff. Oh, excuse me. My lunchbox is literally salad, rice, and sausages. What's fancy about that? Huh. Yeah. Wow, totally not what I was expecting. What exactly were you expecting? Gold leaves, diamonds, and pearls? Something along those lines. Yeah. You're ridiculous. Yeah, I try. Wow, you two seem to get along very well. Not at all. Not at all. Despite their protests about this sort of stuff, they end up agreeing with each other more often than not. It can be downright disturbing sometimes. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Ignore them. These two bickering is just another thing that you get used to in time. Oh! Don't ignore me! Hey, that's my line! Hey, stop stealing my- Both of you, stop! They immediately jump in, up in surprise as Sai's thunderous voice threatens to shake their very core. Jesus, stop behaving like children already. You're both grown men. S sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. Is this something else I'll get used to in time? I'll tell you once I do. You'll leave him hanging for a good while, then. Uh, quite likely. You two are ruthless, Saya chuckles. <laughs> look who's talking. Saya waves him off, immediately turning around to look Victor in the eye, a move that makes the fox jump. She puts both hands behind her back and curves her body forward, looking at him with a big smile on her face. So, Vicon, you said you needed food, right? We can share some of ours with you, right, guys? Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, for sure. I wasn't even going to eat mine. Wow, that's really nice, but I, I can't accept that. Hmm? Why not? If we give you a little bit of our four lunch boxes, we'll barely notice the difference for ourselves, but you'll still have a good deal of food to eat. Well... She gives his back a few light taps that are more like slaps, giggling. It's okay, isn't it? This is the perfect opportunity to get to know your new classmates. Not that I'm really your classmate, but that doesn't matter. It's alright, Vicken. I've only transferred to the school at the start of the school year, but they've all made me feel very welcome. That's nice to know. I suppose a meal couldn't hurt, but how much do I have to pay you guys? Ha! Ha! You crack me up, as if we'd let you pay for that. But... It's fine, Vicken. Come on, let's introduce you to the rest of the class, one by one, preferably. Come on, Michimaya, and put some more spring in your step. Yes. Ah, this is exhausting. Coach, you do know there's no point in working him hard if he falls dead from exhaustion, right? Nonsense, this is just a light workout. Not to mention the fact that he has two years of slacking off to make up for. Gah! His words have so many barbs on them, I'm honestly amazed. Coach, what happened to that laissez-faire personality you had for the past two years? No, no, he's been doing a series of high-intensity workouts for two hours already without breaks. 
He literally looks like he's about to fall dead. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Hey, Yuichi, are you really gonna? Are you really that much of a wimp that you're exhausted from just this? Y yes, sir. Saya smiles cockily. Meanwhile, the coach's expression contorts in a look of frustration. Ugh, oh. Hmm. I really thought it'd go the other way around. Come on, Yuichi Kun. Let's get you some water and rest before he changes his mind. Sai walks up to me, slowly guiding me to some of the benches we have close to the entrance. What? You look like a newborn fawn right now. Your legs won't stop shaking. You tried doing all the crap he's putting me through. Ugh, crap. I think I might throw up. You throw up on me, and I can sure assure you it won't be the workout that kills you. So mean! As soon as we reach the benches, I immediately topple over them. Ah, I don't think I can ever get up from here. Dial it back a little, okay? He might be overworking you, but he's got a point. You've been slacking for the past two years. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten that stupid speech you and, you, you and Shuichi gave me a while ago. It wasn't so much a speech as it was a reality check. Still, I know that I've been running away all this time. I don't need you to keep preaching to me. It doesn't sound like you do. Don't worry, I'm not going to have go back on my word. I made Cake and my practice partner for a reason. He's so diligent that it's liable to bring you to tears. I see. And what have the, what about the new training menu coach gave you? That working out okay? It's hell! But I do see the point. There are a few things that I should improve in my game. My last match with Kaken made that abundantly obvious. Well, see you later then. I still have to get back to warm up to my practice. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye